We are just over 24 hours away now from the 96th Academy Awards. And for more on tomorrow's highly anticipated show, let's go live to eTalks. Tracy Melcher from the Under Construction Oscars red carpet. <laughs> Tracy, good to see you. You're getting ready for the granddaddy of them all when it comes to the award show. Set the scene for us. Absolutely, Beatrice. As you can see, it is a work in progress right here. Final preparations are underway for the 96th Annual Academy Awards. The carpet was actually rolled out on Wednesday, but there's still lots of construction going on. I like to give fun facts, Beatrice, and a fun fact, this carpet is 900 feet long. It takes 600 man hours to install, and the color, as you can see, it's a very rich, very deep red, and it's a secret color called the Academy, Academy Red. Uh, also on parts of the red carpet, media from all over the world. And it's been really interesting. We've been on the ground since Thursday to see how it's been building up and, you know, they're getting the, the giant Oscars ready and you can feel the energy in the air. Hollywood Boulevard is just pulsating right now. And you're looking beautiful in your kind of burgundy sequence there, kind of a nice backdrop for, for the carpet Thank as you. well. You're welcome. I know a lot is going to be made about Be what people are wearing. Beatrice, I call this my, day my daytime sequence. You're, okay, well, I'm my looking forward sequence, to seeing you know? what you're going to be wearing for nighttime <laughs> then for the Oscars. <laughs> Big question here, Tracy, is this going to be the coronation for Oppenheimer? I, I, I mean, I, I, hey, all, 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 the, all the bets are on Oppenheimer. From the time, it, I mean, it really premiered last summer and through the Golden Globes, the Screen Actors Guild, the Directors Guild, the Critics' Choice, the Producers Guild, I mean, it has been an Oppenheimer sleigh. So, I mean, the big upset tomorrow would be if Oppenheimer didn't clean up in all the categories. And, you know, Christopher Nolan, He's an incredible director, and you know a lot of people wanted him to win for Dark Knight, and this could be the time where Hollywood finally crowns him with a, a Best Director Oscar. Yeah, he's going to have to take down Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, poor things to get that crown from the Academy. Talk about some of the other categories, Tracy. And also the holdovers. I really enjoy the holdovers, too. The whole, I haven't seen that one. I'll have to add it to my list. Talk about some of the other, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Paul Giamatti. And... and the other categories where there's some anticipation, including, you know, the best actor, best actress, and a lot of, I guess, buzz around Barbie seemingly getting a snub in some different categories as well. Absolutely. I, I, I'm still I'm still kind of like in mourning about the Barbie situation, but uh, let's talk Canadians. Let's talk uh, Ryan Gosling up, up for Best Supporting Actor. And also he is going to be performing I'm Just Ken with Mark Ronson on stage and 65 backup dancers. It's going to be one of the biggest performances that the Oscars has seen uh, in Best uh, Supporting Actress category. I mean, we have a lot of first time nominees. We have uh, uh, Davine Joy Randolph from The Holdovers, and she's been really doing well with all the awards, and I feel like it's hers to take home tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to seeing Ryan Gosling. This is a guy who can really do it all. He's the son of London, Ontario, just a Canadian treasure as well. Talk I, about some of the other Canadians, Tracy, that are also up for this top award. Sure. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Um, let's talk uh, Celine Song. You know, she directed a beautiful movie in Past Lives. She's nominated for Best Original Screenplay. Uh, also, uh, also Canadians in the Best uh, Dramatic Short and the Best Documentary Feature categories, uh, Invincible and To Kill a Tiger, respectively. I think the best chance for us to take home gold is in Best Short Doc in the Best Short Documentary category. Nova Scotian filmmaker Ben. Pratt outfit for the last repair shop. So, you know, uh, we've got a really good Canadian representation here. I talked to Ben Proudfoot when the noms first came out. Just a great guy. Really interesting to talk to. Who are you most looking forward to talking to, Tracy, tomorrow when you go from daytime sequin to your nighttime outfit? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, my fellow Virgo queen, Zendaya, I'm always excited to see her and to see what she shows up in the red, on the red carpet wearing. Uh, we want to keep our eyes out because Etoc loves a, a Timothy Chalamet red carpet serve. And if I'm going to say personally, again, um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, 
just because, you know, I just like to say Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And he, he knows how to fill out a suit. So, and, oh, oh, oh also, oh my gosh, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and Al Pacino are going to be presenting. And so if they present together, it will be a Scarface reunion. Ooh. Say hello to my little friend, you know? Say like, hello. Iconic. A- iconic. And, and say hello <laughs> to Sorry, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm not, a, I'm not up for any acting. Ca- <laughs> DJ, as his friends call him. He does look good in a suit. And he's a great guy, too. Tracy Melcher, thanks so much for joining us here on CP24. Have a great time tomorrow. And Beatrice, don't forget the Academy Awards. They're airing an hour earlier tomorrow. Does that mean an earlier bedtime for everyone? And also, we're going to go live. That's it. And no, because and stay tuned after the credits roll. E-Talk is going live for our very special after show for the first time ever. Lainey, Tyrone and I, we're going to be going live. Yes, they're giving us live. So we'll see what happens there. It's going to be fabulous. Oh, <laughs> looking forward to it, Tracy. Thanks so much. Have so much fun. Thank you so much, Beatrice. Have a great day.